Grand Rising loved ones, welcome back to another episode of Healing Wisdom with me, your favorite spiritual advisor, Empress Oracle. So today we are going to be talking about walking away from your past because it is so hard. Yeah, that might be before y'all time. <laughs> Let me show my age singing some big pun, okay? But anywho, yes, we're going to talk about walking away from your past because a lot of people have a hard time with walking away from people, places, or things that no longer serve them. Okay, that, and that is real and true if a show. Because society has taught us that that shows a lack of loyalty. And let me tell you something. Everybody does not know what the true definition of loyalty is. All right. Sometimes you have to leave your past behind you. That does not mean to forget where you came from. Because you cannot forget where you came from. Because you have to remember where you came from in order to appreciate where you are going. However, if your past no longer serves you. If every time you go back to the hood, you end up in some shit, then you need to leave your past behind you. You need to walk away from that past. All right? Hold on to those memories because those are those those are the things that made you who you are. And memories cannot be taken from you unless you get hit in the head and end up with fucking amnesia. So it's both switch weed, lose your short-term memory or whatever. Other than that, you always have your memories. All right? People, we have an issue with being loyal to the wrong things. And a lot of times being loyal to the wrong things causes us to miss out on the right things or to lose opportunities or people and miss out from going places that are meant for us because we're being loyal to things that truly, honestly, no longer serve us. A lot of people loyal to their hood and their hood ain't do nothing but kill all their homeboys and stuff. You're loyal to the projects and stuff, but you don't you don't even you don't even own, you know what I'm saying? You don't even own your apartment. That's not yours. It's government's. You feel me? I'm not trying to throw any shade at anybody, but I'm just saying, because it's a lot of people. It's a lot of people that have their loyalty in the streets. And let me tell you something, the streets, <laughs> just like the military, don't love nobody. You are disposable. You are replaceable, okay? Once you are gone, there will always be somebody else there to take your place. But in your family, in your family dynamic, right? You are irreplaceable. And that's what we need to understand. We need to have, that's why we need to start having our, why y'all ain't telling me my jacket was messed up? We need to start having our loyalty in the right places. However, if you are aware that you have outgrown a person, place, or thing, that then this really a test for you because those who know better do better and spirit will not bless you with better if you cannot show your own personal initiative all right that's why as i always like to say that saying faith without works is dead you can say that you want better and be asking and praying for better but you're still going back to those old destructive places people and habits it just does not work that way all right, you will continue to repeat the same destructive patterns and cycles until you learn your lesson. One way or another, it might not be with the same people, but hey, it might be the same situation. Just like how, you know, you keep going to these same toxic ass niggas and these toxic ass relationships, you keep dating the same person, just a different face, right? Because you haven't learned your lesson. You have to walk away from your past. If you if you with somebody, this is an example. If you're with somebody and you start seeing the red flags from nigga from the nigga two niggas ago that you was dating that used to beat your ass all the time, you already know to walk away. You can't give people certain benefits of the doubt. You can't give places certain benefits of the doubt because you know what that one time might cost you your life or your freedom. If you're doing better, get out and you've gotten out of a certain environment and you've made a way and a life for yourself. That doesn't mean for you to go back to your hood and stuff because you want to flex and show people how good you are and what all you got because you never know who's watching trying to take it. That's why so many people that are on the right path end up losing their lives because they go back. Because they go back and you will never know who's watching you and wants to bring you down and is jealous of you and your progress. Many of people lose their lives that way and that's something that we need to be more aware of. It's time for that common sense that we all were blessed with to start kicking in people, all right? That's just like in the Bible. 
with the story of Sodom and Gomorrah, right? God said, don't look back. Don't look back. Don't look back. And sometimes we have to realize that we can't look back because that may cost us our lives. The past may try to hold you back by bringing up old memories, but you have to remember to think about the past as a whole. That includes relationships as well, because a lot of times we get lonely, we get horny, we start thinking about our ex, we forget about how he used to cheat on us, we used to be up at night crying and stuff, how he was never there for holidays, missing birthdays, missing anniversaries. All we could think of when we lonely is how good the dick was. No ma'am, no ham, no cheese right? That's what we need to not do, right? Not just the good times when you are lonely. The pros should never outweigh the cons, right? No, that's my bad. <laughs> the pros should outweigh the cons, <laughs> excuse me, all right? And if you have to validate or justify something, a situation, a person, it's not for you, right? You can't just say, oh, well, you know, I know he's no good for me, but I'm just going to go back this one time because, you know what I'm saying, I need my kitty scratched because you might lay with the dog and you might end up with fleas. You might lay with the dog and you might end up with fleas. People, we also always need to weigh the pros and the cons of situations, right? Sometimes things end and it's beyond our control. And sometimes things just naturally end on their own because everything has its own life cycle. Everything has its own natural time span. That's a part of evolution, okay? But sometimes we tend to look towards the past and be like, damn, I really miss this X, Y, and Z, X, Y, and Z, especially when we're not in a good mental space, especially when we are going through things and our life is not the way that we want it to be. Or if we had expectations of certain progress in work or in other relationships or just period in life and it's just not working out the way we want it to a lot of times we have a tendency to look to the past right out of loneliness and loneliness gets a lot of us fucked up y'all gets a lot of us fucked up don't be that guy or that girl don't do that you have to remember as as much as you're remembering the good memories because that is a mental trick that the devil plays with our mind Whenever we are lonely, he will bring up those memories, but we'll only remember the good. And the good will just seem to outweigh all the bad. But if you really sit and you think about it, and you think about the details of a relationship, your ex is an ex for a reason. Now, when you sit there and you think about it, if it wasn't just natural circumstances, like somebody moved or something like that, if it was because that person was toxic, that person was verbally abusive, a mental manipulator. You have to take into consideration things like that when you're sitting there reminiscing. Don't just reminisce about the good times because you might fuck around and get yourself back involved in some toxic ass shit. And then as you get involved in it, you're like, ah, oh, this is why I left this motherfucker. Oh my gosh, here I am again. And you're kicking yourself in the ass because you have not learned that lesson. It's time for us to learn these lessons. Not all lessons have to be learned the hard way, okay? And not all lessons have to be repeated, all right? They don't. Let's stop doing ourselves that disservice. It's always hard to walk away from the past because intrinsically, humans fear the unknown, right? And often would rather deal with the problems that they already know, right? That they're familiar with rather than trying something new that is a test of faith. It's a test of faith. So many people are scared of the unknown that instead of stepping out there and trying to find something different or something better or trying to do something new, they would rather be comfortable in that same old unhealthy, toxic environment, that same unhealthy, toxic relationship around those toxic ass friends that are just bitter, right? And Misery loves company and would rather hold you down and see you there. And that's not what we need. Sometimes we have to be the ones to open our own eyes and realize like, hey, it's time for me to move on. It's time for me to put these things, these people, these places in the past where they belong because I'm inhibiting my soul's growth. I'm 
inhibiting my own evolutionary process. And this is not what I want for myself. The longer that we delay these things is the longer it's going to take for us to achieve the things that we want. And it's the harder it's going to be for us. And then that's when we start looking at people wishing that that was us. But what we have to understand, those people realized when situations were not for them and they had the strength to walk away. And the same way they had the strength to walk away and find and do better for themselves is the same way that you can as well. That's something that you guys need to learn. Sometimes what you have to do for your higher purpose, for the best of you, yourself, your children, is to walk away from your past in order to have a brighter future. That does not mean, as I said before, to forget where you came from. Never forget where you came from because that is one of the blocks that built you into who you are today. But leave all that trauma, all that drama in the past. Know what's good for you. As I love to say, faith without works is dead. If you have the faith to walk away from what no longer serves you, God will always make a way. That's a true test. And if you feel like you deserve the best, then you should have at least a mustard seed size of faith. And God will provide for you step by step. Even if you feel like you can't do it, you don't know how, when, or where, he will always make a way. That's something that we need to understand, ladies and gentlemen. So with that being said, I wish you all the best. Have faith, be blessed, and don't forget to pray because God always makes a way out of no way. With that being said, take care and I love you all.